hoping I make it through this without losing it. <laughs> wow. Thank you to the investors, uh, the investors panel, and all the amazing individuals who have supported investors and this prize over the years. Uh, our school participates in literally every program that investors has to offer, and it has made a huge difference in our school community. Uh, I want to give a very special thanks to Allison, Emily, Karen, Kayla, Marinelle, and Janet for all you have done for our school. Um, he's not here today, but I want to thank Mayor Walsh, somehow hopefully this, this gets transmitted to him, for his support of our schools and for his leadership. His vow made shortly after the Muslim travel ban, which he said, that means if they live here, referring to City Hall, they'll live here. They can use my office, they can use any office in this building, any place they want to use. They'll be able to use this building as a safe space. We use that at our school during a difficult time. And I'm forever indebted to the mayor and our school community is forever indebted to the mayor for providing us with very clear direction during a very difficult time. But the thank you for I want to thank Laura Cornell for her leadership during this time and unwavering support of our schools. Um, I want to thank Tommy Welch, Dr. Grace Way, Margarita Ruiz, who's not here for advocating for our schools. I want to thank BPS Central Office staff. They are un underrated in what they do for schools. Hannah and Hillary, Keith Hellman, Evelyn Adario, Ali, Lemma, Jody, Dolores Sullivan, Shakira is here, I saw. Uh, Dan O'Brien is here, thank you so much. I want to recognize Jean and Jeff, uh, two just incredible school leaders on last Tuesday night. Highlighted the incredible work that you all are doing in your schools. I am honored, truly honored, to be your colleague uh, and to learn with you. And I want to recognize my other colleagues throughout the room. Michelle Davis and, and Paula Gonzalez have been such huge supporters. Tracy in the back, thank you so much for, for all you do for our school. I want to thank Emily Pena, our former director of instruction, for her incredible passion and her consistent determination in providing Latino and Latina students with nothing but the best because they deserve it. To Mike Monroe, who has literally sat at the table with me for five and a half years doing this work. His work has transformed our school community and we would definitely not be here without everything you've done now. To the teachers and staff of the McKay, none of this would be possible without your work, your drive, and your passion for our children and our families. This whole process has been driven by our teachers, this whole thing. And I'm honored and humbled to serve with you. I asked each of our school and the MOVE team to explain why they do this. We do this work because movement is an essential part of a child's life and we want to share our passion for moving with young people. We do this work to remove barriers. All students have things that stand in our way, things that inhibit them from achieving at a higher level, but they all want to be successful. They all want to learn to be prosperous. And as educators, we want to make sure they have every opportunity to be successful. We do this work because our students should leave the McKay feeling smart, confident, prepared, and loved. We do this work to make sure that all students feel welcome, welcome to be curious, to pursue goals, and to grow as learners and people. We do this work for our future leaders and problem solvers. We do this work because education can never be taken away from our children. And we want to know that we have spent our lives in meaningful ways. We do this work because it is challenging and rewarding and we grow and learn with our students and that this work will last a lifetime. We do this work because we believe in children. And when we teach them to believe in themselves, work hard and persevere, to care about others and to be curious, our world will be a better place. We do this work because all students deserve a joyful, rigorous, welcoming place to learn. We do this work to help students become more powerful. We do this work because providing emotional supports to students and families in need during a difficult time can bridge more than an achievement gap. It can create lifelong connections that go beyond language or cultural differences to help students become the best versions of themselves. Their words today and throughout
throughout the selection process highlight the reasons why we are back here this morning. This award shines a bright spotlight on the incredible academic success of students who sometimes feel they need to live in the shadows. This is their award. And it is proof that when provided with a loving, respectful, supportive environment, all children can succeed. This award is dedicated to those families who made the decision to risk it all so that their children will have opportunities that they as parents may have been denied. It is an honor to support them, knowing the sacrifices that they have made for their families, and that regardless of a label, their children will receive the high quality education that they envisioned while making those life altering decisions. An education that recognizes and respects their dignity and humanity and relishes in the story of our school community. We are a school on the move, but we are not done moving. Thank you all so very much.